were at a karaoke bar right now <laughs> and you had to pick what song, one song, what would it be? Um, if you if I had to pick one song, okay. Um, in honor of the team, then it would have to be Believe by Cher. Sing some of it. Are you serious? Uh, <laughs> I know you're not <laughs> seriously <laughs> putting this on the thing. <laughs> I'm a senior on the swimming and diving team, and I'm majoring in general recreation. Growing up, my parents are very, um, they wanted me and my brother to be very active and they weren't forceful of, you know, you have to play basketball. But they let us pick our sports and, and try everything out and we, the rule was that we had to be doing something. Um, and so I picked swimming because I didn't like to sweat and I have no hand-eye coordination. <laughs> and so I took some lessons for a while and they told me to go competitive. And I walked onto the pool deck and saw like a male diver in a Speedo and was like, I'm out. And so two years later I decided to come back and I haven't stopped since. Sage also makes it a point to be very personable and you don't feel like he's just reaching out to 50 different recruits. Um, he knew all my times and told me what potential that I you know, had if I put in the work. And I liked that about Sage was that the coach actually believed in me. I wanted to do something with therapeutics because I like helping people and like hands-on stuff. Um, so I went into therapeutic recreation and then eventually just switched, just dropped the concentration and switched over to general recreation. Um, and I've loved it ever since. Well, at Special Olympics, it was a really cool honor. I got to, I had only been with them for about six months and uh, they needed a swimming coach in Palo Alto. So I got asked by the area director to head coach that and uh, took that position. And that was quite an adventure. Uh, my roommate also coached with me. So that was fun. We both got to work on that together. Um, and then I got asked to go to summer games, which is kind of like in Olympics uh, for Special Olympics athletes, and which was held in Davis and got to go as, as a coach there. And uh, a few of my athletes qualified, about four of them from our site. And to see them like get gold medals at this, you know, huge accomplishment for them was so rewarding. I don't really do my community service hours other than the 20 hours. I don't do it like tallying the hours as to oh, I need to get to, you know, a thousand hours or whatever the hour count is. Um, and so I was actually kind of surprised when Sage told me, he was like, check your email. And I was like, for what? And when he told me that I got the award, that was, you know, pretty cool and a big deal that it was being something that you take the time out of your day and you're not being paid for it or, you know, often not recognized for what you do was finally being recognized. That was pretty cool. All the hours I put in really taught me time management and it's built a resume, a huge resume, um, that I can hopefully use in the future. And luckily, most of these volunteer places have to do with the rec department. And so I'm hoping that that will, you know, help me in the future. My dream job, well, I would like to work for the city, uh, Parks and Rec Department, and work my way up in the city. Uh, but I also would like to come back and go to school and apply for the grad program, for the uh, Occupational Therapy grad program here. Uh, and get my master's there and then hopefully open my own pediatric um, practice.